Hey there, hope you're doing well. In this course, we're gonna make the iconic Pixar intro in Blender. The Pixar intro is one of the most iconic opening sequence in the film history. And looks at Junior's playful destruction of the letter I is the perfect representation of Pixar's spirit. It starts off simple, just the uh, company's name in a clean professional font. Then looks at Junior, hops in, full of energy, personality, and playfulness bouncing on the eye until it gets squished out of existing. A lamp, an everyday object, is transformed into a lovable character with a distinct personality, all without a single word. So my plan is to start by making the environment uh, a uh, infinite background, the text obviously with the specific font and uh, the lamp. Making the lamp is easy and straightforward. It's just basic modeling. We're gonna go step by step using some uh, primitives and after that we're going to rig the lamp, add some custom shape using the bone widget add-on and start animating. Next would be the make the scene ready for rendering. After rendering we're gonna go to the video sequencer and add some sound and maybe a little bit of color balance and export the final video. That's simple. All right, so let's go ahead and change some setting inside Blender then. Head to the Blender and let's go ahead and change some settings. So this is our splash screen. The only thing I change right here as always is to change the space bar too. A search. So my um, play button right now is shift and space because I change it right here. So continue. Uh, let's uh, respect the uh, tradition, delete everything. And I really like to start from front view. So I'm gonna hit uh, numpad one, switch to front view. And uh, we need timeline right here. Let's keep it. I'm using uh, 4.3.2. Uh, so you see that right here. Usually I'm hiding that. So let's go ahead, Blender Region, right click right here, and uh, enter it connection right there. Hide that as well. And also window toggle to have the full screen real estate. So next, let's go ahead to the preferences, edit and uh, start from top interface I'm not gonna change anything here viewport uh, nothing here lights i um, really like to have my lights downloaded out of uh, polyhaven so let's go ahead and install them so i need to go to my environment lights right here so let's go ahead and add that to bookmark polyhaven let's go a and add or install lights. All right, all installed, and you have access to that right here when you switch to rendering. All right, that's gonna be there. And uh, editing, nothing. Animation, nothing. And extensions. So let's use uh, screencast key first. So I'm gonna go ahead and install that from disk. So I have those in project file i'm gonna include them in project file so here we have the screencast so install that all right it's gonna appear here and another add-on we need is the bone widget to add some custom shape to the bones later on when we going to rigging phase all right install that as well and here this is the bone widget rigging shapes the next add-on is this uh, 3d viewport pi menu you can search that right here and install it on your blender so i really like this one but i'm only using set origin so i'm gonna disable all of this and keep just this one so with this you have access to your origin pi location that's it so let's go to the team nothing here input um, nothing here navigation just hit the depth to be able to zoom all the way 
and zoom um, to most position and orbit around selection just take that and key map so i really like to use my own hotkeys so i for example i added some hotkeys to wireframe maybe to this um, overlay and other stuff so naturally i'm using those so let's go ahead and import this hotkey file right here so import and if i hover over the wireframe it's f17 so usually you don't see f13 to f24 on your keyboard old keyboard maybe the uh, ibm keyboards i mean and uh, the new keyboards doesn't have that but windows still has the f13 to f24 so i'm inserting these keys by using auto hotkey also i have my hotkeys on um, another keyboard using auto hotkey and auto hot interception or auto hot i h i and there's a good video on youtube about that and if you want you can go ahead and make your own keyboard that's that let's key map let's go to the system here Check the CUDA if you have NVIDIA graphic card or HIP if you have the AMD card. And the load and save nothing. Uh, yeah, here, let's change the undo step to, to 6 and save. Check this auto save, save the preferences. And let's go for the render settings. Switch to cycle and the GPU. And let's go ahead and make this uh, max sample for preview uh, 10 and check the denoise. Alrighty, what else? I'm not seeing anything else except for putting this one to a startup. So each time you open up your blender, it's going to be in this stage. So go to file and default save startup and overwrite. Um, let's go ahead and start building our Pixar intro. All right, let's see what we're dealing with. Obviously, we need the actual writing Pixar with the specific uh, font and the font in use according to this website is Chalamet, right? So uh, let's do that then. After making the uh, writing, we need infinite background, some lighting and uh, this dude right here, the Luxo JR. All right, so first of all, quickly in front view let's go ahead and hit a shift a and add a text it's uh, facing upward let's change that to view click on this a or go to the uh, data setting for the text and make it center through paragraph and alignment all right it's gonna take care of the alignment now let's go ahead while this text is selected go ahead and enter edit mode by hitting tab or from this menu up here let's go ahead and type the writing back to object mode and go change the font so here font open up your font and let's go ahead find the shalome right here right before do anything else let's go ahead and add a camera to the scene because i wanted to add a, a reference to the camera view so to do that again shift a and let's go ahead add a camera right here camera setting let's go ahead and make it 35 millimeter lens right and here background image check that let's go ahead add image have this image right here and let's go hit number zero or view pi and where is it here camera the writing is here but we obviously are not in the right place so open up the n panel by hitting n obviously and let's go ahead through the y-axis go physically and drag the y and put the camera right about here all right z need to go up so we're moving the camera physically right now right here and i believe the height 
is good i think it's one unit or uh, one meter i believe but one unit so next thing is the spacing so i love this reference just because this is spacing right here so increase the spacing around maybe 2.6 or maybe 2.7 something yeah there's no way we actually mimic the camera angle so this is the best we can do right now so we actually uh, done with the text let's go to the camera and uncheck the background image this is the result right here one thing you need to know right here the tail from the x and r goes to the ground we can um, render this thing twice one with the uh, background and one without background and in the comp actually um, do a little bit um, doodling and replace these parts or simply ignore it yeah i'm gonna ignore it it's not that important all right so uh, let's do a background let's go ahead shift a plane and let's make it as big as camera view right here all right and maybe a little bit bigger right there enter edit mode and edge selection and grab this edge right here back to camera view and do extrude e and z go high right about here and let's go select both faces maybe hit a and scale a little bit more like so now grab the same edge right here got a b for bevel this much i believe is enough scroll your mouse wheel right about here mm -hmm. out of edit mode right click and shade smooth that's gonna be our bg so let's go change the name to background or bg oh my caps lock is on so bg right there and uh, let's make a duplication of this text and make it uh, and keep this one as a backup so shift d just enter let's go text and this one backup and hide it select this text right and uh, let's go and make some depth with solidify modifier right here generate and solidify one centimeter is not good let's go five now i wanted the um, lamp to actually can land on something this is not enough let's go 10 yeah good all right while that's selected hit Control a and visual to geometry so that's gonna take care of the modifier apply it and also this is no longer a text let's go edit mode right here hover over the i and hit l to select that and p and separate the selection we need the i to be separated from the text right here so let's go call this one um big door right there and this one just i yep let's go and make them unselectable for now after adding some material of course um let's call this material text this might be text text this might be our final material for this one so make it black i believe all the way down and uh, 0 0.5 as a roughness yeah might be enough all right grab the eye same material selected from here and the background so let's go make it a blueish color kind of because i believe 
reference yeah it's kind of blue let me use color picker from um windows power toy right here and sample this color put this color here yep and um, maybe make it rough all the way why not so it's gonna be our um, infinite background color and make all of these unselectable bg i and xr unselectable let's go grab them all or maybe make another collection let's go camera and lights and select the camera hit m put it in the camera collection change this one to bg right all righty so let's go unselect the and uh, un make the um collection unselectable all right let's go and add some light to the scene so to do that um change my mind actually let's uh, use some of these lights up here go to render let's go uncheck this scene ward I have all of these lights right here let's use this one and maybe rotate that a little bit maybe around 100 or something back to camera view yeah it seems all right the uh, background is actually a little bit too close to the camera so i'm gonna go ahead and grab the whole thing why not because the lamp actually need to made right in the middle then rigged in the middle animate in the middle so it's in the way so let me go to the um, side view right here make some room so go maybe around here halfway to the one unit maybe a little bit something like this yeah is it enough room i'm not sure we can always change that let's check everything through the camera view all right a little bit more for the background so i'm gonna slide it out carefully then inside of this mode grab this edge right here and goes past the camera check that again yep nice all right make it unselectable and we basically done with the text and bg except for one thing you see these um, gaps here so we actually need to grab this and push it out then uh, we actually mess with the uh, scale right here so we need to go and hit apply scale right there now we are done with the text bg kind of light and kind of material so next would be to make the actual lamp 